Hey, hello florists and flower lovers. Welcome to the 5,000 subscriber live stream. What? <laughs> How awesome. Thank you very much, everyone. Uh, you made this all possible. Uh, you made us all continue through with these live streams. And a special super duper thank you to all our patrons who are supporting us on Patreon and uh, giving us a small monthly donation that really helps us uh, make all these live streams possible. So thank you very much, really awesome. So we're very happy with that. And today I have two arrangements planned uh, for you. One is a combination of a bouquet and an arrangement. arrangement. Uh, and the other one is a bridal bouquet. So uh, without further ado, I'll go and pick the first one up. So, hope everyone is doing well at home and is having a good time joining in with us today. So, I have a lot done beforehand, which is all visible on our Patreon. Uh, this design is inspired by the previous uh, International Master Florist Education uh, with Gregor Lersch that was just here. Um, Gregor and some other designers, of course, also, but uh, they make these hand type bouquets, which are standing uh, in a platform. Um, so I think Frédéric Dupré, I saw him done, do that a couple of times. Um, and it's also inspired by uh, Nico Bocancia's uh, vertical work that was here uh, when he was here last year. Um, and at the time he used this piece of bark in a vertical way um, and had all sorts of tubes in there. Um, so it's also lending a lot of inspiration from that. I wanted to create something myself with this uh, uh, bark. Uh, I made the uh, foot here uh, with uh, a two millimeter wire, the stop wire. Uh, it's, you can see me make the whole foot on Patreon, like I said. And I have a second foot, a help foot here on the other side, which is smaller, so a bigger one and a smaller one. So a bigger impact, smaller impact. And that helps also with the asymmetry. I'm sorry, I have a little uh, oop, microphone. It's all good. So, um, yes, so a bigger foot and a smaller foot, which helps uh, make it stable, but also makes the impact not look exactly the same. And you could look at this from several angles. I've already put some tubes in there. So basically, this is not gonna be a hand-tied standing bouquet because I'm gonna cheat way too much for that. To have something be a standing bouquet on a frame, uh, Gregor says you need to have um, maximum one tube in there. You know, one tube, otherwise it's going too far away from a hand-tied bouquet. So this is just a structure in which I will be binding the flowers in there and in which I uh, have some tubes in there to, to help out as well. And I will have two binding points. So it, you know, it's just something interesting with a mixture of techniques. So don't uh, quote me on, uh, or whatever you would say, don't hang me up so much on that this is a, not a standing bouquet because it's not officially a standing bouquet. Um, I have Hoya uh, Linearis, I think it is called, hanging downwards here, two of them, and a smaller one drooping down over there. Then I have a lovely tilantia in there, and then I have a, a, a cactus uh, hanging on the other side. And I was originally thinking to maybe drill a hole uh, through here and into a tube, but I will be binding this one on this side as well. So, yeah, so let, if you are here to join us for today's live stream, please let us know in the chat. Say hi or where you're from. We always like to know where you're from. It's fun because we're all here from all across the world ever since the beginning of, uh, of COVID. We've been hanging out together, so thank you for that. And yes, so what I'm going to do is add some things to this arrangement. Um, one of it, ooh, can I get this out without crushing anything else? I'm gonna take out a bromelia. And another thing that's kind of cheating which is not making this a bouquet, is uh, I added these uh, wires here 
so that I can easily add them inside the bouquet or the structure and connect them to the foot over here. So, and one of them is a little bit higher, the other one is a little bit lower. So what I'll do is I'll put the lower one a bit more to the back. Let's see if we can get through there. And it will be standing straight into the water. So that's nice. The bromelia lasts a long time in any case. So it's not like it really needs uh, to be maintained so much in water. It could also just be in tubes. But you know, it's better in any case. So, and it's kind of tricky to do this. So I'll grab this little guy here the flat head and I will twist the wires together on the frame and this is giving me some space in between this frame and in between the flowers and this is kind of a technique that I also used in a Christmas arrangement I think I did last year and there will be another callback to that arrangement as well later on so so this is standing very firmly. It doesn't need the water so straight away, but maybe later I'll add some water to it. Because there will be some flowers in there. Ooh, sh spooky. There will be some flowers in there who will actually need some water. It's gonna be a balancing act, this one. So, yep, there we go. Ooh, yes. There's always something exciting happening. So let's see. Yeah, Hoya Linearis. You will need to go back into your water tube. It was so nicely balanced before. Let's see, maybe I need to add a little bit of an angle to the, to the wires. I've been moving this around quite a bit, so that might be some of the reason why it's not so stable anymore. Let's see. And actually, I could have made it a bit more stable by having the wires stick out all the way. So, there we go. Yes. Okay. That would be something if it's not gonna stand. <laughs> like that. And this one was coming from over here, hanging outwards over there. So, interesting. Why are you not working with me now, all of a sudden? Before we were such good friends, what's this? So. Wow, this is uh, not going to be me struggling for half an hour just to <laughs> get things standing, I hope. And yes, actually here up top, some of our friends also got dropped out of the tubes. So there we go. Let's see here. So yeah, let me know how you're doing, if everything is all right. I'm very interested in that always. So, over here, I'm gonna add this other bromelia. So, like that. And then the other one the bottom. Hmm, yeah? Tape what? Oh yeah, thank you, if it's, ha if it's happening again. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a little awkward. Yep, over there. And Sorry for uh, hiding behind here, but I'm just going to take my pliers and connect this 
to the frame over here on the other side. Angelica, do we have anyone saying hi? Or is well, it so quiet over there? It is pretty quiet, but um, we do have someone. And not Ooh. just someone, we have Dunya in the chat. Oh, hey, Dunya. And my microphone does not work. Did you? Can you check uh, Sinsin with uh, your sister? But she's waving. Hi, Dunya. So. Seems to be a little microphone uh, situation with Angelica over there. But uh, Sinsin is going to come and help her out, so it'll be fine in a second. And now it's working. Okay, so can you is say it? that again? Yeah, it is. Ah, uh, well, we have Dunya Marsha in the chat hey. waving at you. Hi, hi. Hi, Dunya. Thank you for helping us out. For, <laughs> for helping us out. Well, for helping us out by saying hi. For joining us, basically. Okay, so, and now, let's see, there it is, so, and then this movement is going out nicely there, so that's good. Let's have it a little bit more in the middle. The only thing that's not so nice is that that is over there, but anyway. So, what I have more, I'll just show you the other materials that I want to put in here. I have these lovely anturium. Very big ones, very cool. Nice to put in there. Then I have some grasses, some panicum. You don't see it very well, but it's going to add some nice veiling texture, a little bit of mystery. Then I have some, whoop, let's get rid of this. I have some formium, very cool. Also, a nice straight line. It can be nicely put to the back over here. You won't see it so much from the angle that it's now, but when I turn it around and later on, when you look at it from other angles, it's gonna be interesting. So I like to not, I don't really like to have a very clear backside to an arrangement as in that there's nothing happening on, on the back. Of course, uh, this definitely has a back and a front because uh, some things will go happen inside here and some, uh, but yeah, you never have nothing on the back because that's kind of a pity when someone walks around and sees all the techniques and and so forth so yeah that's not so good angelica yes i have a question oh hey thank you is the arrangement standard a all-sided arrangement when it's placed in a round container hmm, good question well in any case um i think this could st def still be against the wall but it would be a little bit from the wall. Nothing really goes against the wall like this, right? So um, there needs to be some nice things happening uh, at the back a little bit. Because if someone walks here and stands over here, and then they can see the entire back, right? So I don't think some, a round container automatically implies that it should be all sided, right? But it's a good question, very good question. Um, yes, and then we have these crazy roses like very tall and they normally when you pay for length uh, um, so every 10 centimeters you're cutting off you know you're cutting off quite a bit of money but in this case the length was you know this is amazing it's like what is this uh, 70 centimeters and the price was like a regular rose so uh, but the color was really good which is fitting inside our color scheme so that's why i also chose it angelica we have Staniela von Overfell saying nice. Hey, Staniela, thanks for joining us. Our cousin coming to hang out with us. Thank you. Then I have some Santa Decia or Cala Lilies, as most people know them by. They have a nice peach e tone. So, this is, we have this uh, bromelia, which is like a uh, reddish yellowish orange has in there right so that's com coming here as well and then these lysianthus they are apricot very nice so they blend into the color scheme gradually very nicely and then these anterium uh, anterium they are green but they also have some orange in there so very nice if i say so myself i like the color combination and then 
uh, I have this purplish uh, hydrangea. It's at the end of the season, so that's when they turn classic, as uh, Peter Kolk says. If you haven't seen the interview with Peter Kolk, we have an interview with an amazing hydrangea grower, and he tells you all about uh, how hydrangea works, um, how it's grown, um, how the colors are achieved, that sort of thing. So I th thought that was very interesting, talking with him about that. So if you haven't seen so, he's a Floral Fundamentals grower as well, very good grower. Check that interview out. And I have this amazing flower, or actually it's a bunch of flowers, um, a stem of Ansu Vanda. So Vanda is from Ansu. And they have a whole rainbow assortment of all the colors, of the color spectrum and everything in between. So for example, this one is purple with a bit of beige tones in there, right? Um, but they have them uh, with a little bit more beige and a little bit more and a bit more. So like it's a scale and uh, mostly all of the colors are there. And they have a perfectly white uh, Vanda since a couple of years ago, which is amazing. Um, yeah, and I'll put that in a tube and it will come to the back for which we will have to drill a hole in a second. Um, I thought I would put this a little bit on this side, like that, like so, but it will have to be after, after I bound some things in. Um, and then I thought I would put the, uh, the big dark ball of hydrangea on this side. So then we have uh, something going up here and something a bit lower over there so that the color repeats itself so i thought that would be cool um, yes and then i have a hidden little secret over there in the back which i should not forget so if you're watching us live right now please help remind me that i should not forget that because i forget things very easily um, yeah so let's see what i should start with uh, most likely it's going to be the formium which sounds like some sort of uh, uh, Marvel uh, type of metal. In the, that superhero universe. Like maybe this moves a little bit more here. Angelica. Yes, we have Anila Hindocha saying greetings from Kenya. Very interesting design. Hi, Anila. Thank you for joining us. You're very welcome. So, let's see, yes. Because I need to ha be close, close to the binding point, which is going to be on the frame, like so, yes. And then, mm -hmm, what's going to come here as well? Yes, I decided that this would be bound on here, on this side as well. Or will it come a little bit more to the back? Mm -hmm. No, if it's going to be like that, it has to come like this. So I'm looking at the growth direction of the botanicals and I'm going to use that to my advantage. So actually I might just bind this in by one by one. And for that, I need my binding wire, the brown binding wire, which for some reason is not <laughs> nearby. Oh, yes, I thought I put it in the neighborhood. So, binding wire, bum bum, like that. And then, yes, Angelica. We have Charmini. Saying Hi. hello from Glasgow, Scotland. Hey, welcome here. It's nice of you to come and join us. All the way from Scotland. So, this here will be bound to the frame. And actually, I've, it's one of my first attempts to make something with um, a standing frame and binding the, book, the flowers in there. So that's a nice challenge. I like to use these live streams as a way to challenge myself 
and uh, try out new things because you don't always have time for that in your regular florist daily life. And as a teacher uh, here at the Burma Institute, which is a flower school, uh, I usually get to teach more the standard things uh, unless I'm teaching the advanced course, which is only a couple of times a year. So this is really the nice moment for these types of experiments. So the formium and the ripsalis are in there. So bound to the frame. So we have some movement going to the back now as well, like that. Then I have some, oh yeah, Angelica. Charmini says yes. to love the organic feel of the design. Thank you. Yeah, this is uh, making use of all the movements that are in there, in the flowers. At least I hope to be able to do that. So I have the color lilies which are going to move at an angle outwards. And calla lilies don't need so much water, but of course we'll put water in here uh, a little bit later. So these will be moving at a different way. So we have uh, two of them together and one a little bit further apart, like that. So, yeah, Angelica. We have Herman Swanepoel saying hello from South Africa. Hey Herman, thank you for joining us all the way from South Africa. Very cool. So let's see, yeah, I think that's nice over there. Then, oh yes, I was supposed to take these grasses to the back. Yeah, Angelica. We have Jade in the chat saying hey, hi Jade. to everyone from UK. That looks exciting already. Thank you, Jade. Thank you for hanging out with us. Jade uh, just did the advanced course, right? Uh, not too long, Angelica. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. No, no, you were already ready for the next. Okay, you know, but Jade just did the advanced course here. Amazing student and is uh, looking f to uh, you're still, are you still considering moving to the Netherlands or you, th you think uh, you'll stay out there in the UK? Let me know <laughs> because you want to maybe uh, work as a florist. You're looking for a floristry job, right? If I'm not mistaken, let me know. Maybe someone in the chat is uh, able to, uh, to help out on that part. Angelica. Yes, and we have Trisha Wan in the chat saying, Hi, Mike, I love your design. Hey, uh, Trisha. I'm from Texas. <laughs> Yes, thank you for joining us as well, Tricia, one of the uh, students of the uh, International Master Floristry Education and who uh, is an amazing person, really motivated to grow and learn and just a very nice all-round person. Yeah, Angelica. So Jacqueline Burma says, Jade passed the exam of the advanced Dutch floral design course yes. and likes to join the next international master florist education in November 2023. Ah, yes, because it's actually happening again. I think that's so. That's my mother, of course, coming in with the with the promotion idea, which is really good because indeed uh, before we weren't sure if it was going to happen ag yet again, this uh, master education program but it is happening again so that's uh, a nice news I don't think we've even put it online yet but if you are interested in joining uh, send us an email and uh, yeah maybe you'll be joining that awesome class uh, next year then having some of the panicum in there to create a little bit of an airy veil I'm gonna hide behind the arrangement a couple of times as you'll see maybe I can angle it a little bit better and then I have to check where do I hmm, maybe a little bit higher boop, boop, boop. where do I want to put no okay oh, you weren't broken you just looked a little sad that happens so yeah that's more happy put this yeah somewhere here in the back or a bit more there in the front. I have a camera over there, which is allowing me to see uh, what I'm doing more or less. 
uh, but it's always not always very clear because the camera is kind of standing in front of it. So, but if I put it the tube here, then the flower gets to yes, yes, we're doing it. Come there, yes, Angelica. We have Karina Arteche say yes. hola desde Argentina. Ah, hi. Thank you. Welcome. I think it means she's from Argentina, Argentina right? <laughs> yes, I think so too. So thank you for joining us all the way from Argentina. How cool. Yeah, I think this is a nice idea to have them over here. So that is what I will do. And for that reason, I have this drill here. Oh, no, now I forgot already where I put it. <laughs> for that reason, I will put the drill there. So I will apologize. I will make a little noise. Yes, Angelica. Question from Trisha Wan. Hi. Can you tell us about your concept for this design? Where would it be placed? Yes. Thank you, Trisha. Very good question. I would uh, see this uh, at the entrance uh, of a hotel uh, lobby in an uh, office, like uh, a nice and uh, tight, stylish. Oh, where did I drill that hole again? <laughs> Do you remember? You, you were looking at what I was doing. Um, Oh my god. Yes, uh, th this is a hole. Looks like a hole, but it isn't. Okay, now I will remember. Okay, so I would see this at the hotel lobby that is a more modern look, right? So that we have a contrast of the modern look with these uh, organic kind of uh, botanicals in there. So yeah, that's how I would, how I would see this. And the concept, um, I don't know if you were there a little bit, but I was inspired by, uh, by the classes of the International Master Florist Education because Gregor makes these uh, frames and then he's standing frames and then there is a kind of a bouquet in there, right? Uh, but as I was saying, uh, this isn't really going to be a bouquet because I'm also adding m way more tubes in there than it should be able to be considered a, a bouquet. Um, but yeah, I was inspired by that uh, and I always wanted to make one and I didn't really take any time to do that. So I thought this is a great moment to try this style. Okay. Yeah, so that's there. This little guy is here. Yes, Angelica. So um, Jacqueline Borma says the EMF group that started last November yeah, will be doing IMF. exam on March 30th. Yes, And the exciting. results can be seen on Saturday, the April uh, 1st. Yes, they can. Yeah, very good. So my roses, let's bring some color inside the frame. And of course, I don't want all these roses to be exactly the same height. Thought I cut them at the length that I wanted before, but apparently not. So this one is a little bit smaller, so I'll use this as my higher one. It's going to come over there. Yeah, like that. A little bit lower because see how it's kind of touching the other uh, movement that's in there. So let's not do that. It's a mirror image, so this is very confusing. Yeah, like that. Yes, Angelica. Yes, Trisha Wan says, love it. Uh, Thank can you. you tell us about your mechanics, size of wires used, yes. or structural frame, yeah. etc.? Exactly. So um, uh, that's another thing that I was uh, mentioning a little bit earlier. I have the exact process, and actually, you are one of our amazing patrons. Uh, patrons. So uh, I have made a behind the scenes now of this one which I will be uploading soon, uh, but the mechanics. So basically there is uh, two foots in there. So there's a bigger foot and a smaller foot so that the, it's nice and stable. Though earlier something happened and it wasn't really very stable, uh, but yeah, it should be stable. Um, and um, basically it's the spider web technique in the, in the beginning and then uh, having the feet like the duck feet. And um, then I uh, use the basically the 2.0 wire, there's about seven, seven toes. 
So, and I did the double the wire. So that means there's 14 wires in there to create that structure. It's going all the way up. Then there's holes drilled in there, which are allowing me to connect it to the frame, which you can see exactly uh, on, the, um, on the Patreon uh, later. Mm -hmm. Let's see, for the rhythm, I think we need to have a rose a little bit later on going down there. Yeah, somewhere there. Yeah, that will be cool. Yes, Angelica. Question from Aurora Bright. Yes. Is pinecone available in Holland? That's nice. It's also present in Hima Himachal. Ah. I love cones. That's a sign of pure love. Cool. Yes, we do have pine cones. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm not really sure I, if I have them in my arrangement right now. I don't think so. Um, or I'm confused and uh, maybe you are talking about another flower that is called a pine cone. Uh, <laughs> but in any case, uh, yes, we do have them. Yeah, and uh, during Christmas time, we are using actually a lot of them. So for sure. So I'm binding this uh, on here right now, just so that it's standing a little bit. I hope, by the way, Tricia, that this answers a bit of your questions. Um, there is a lot of uh, wire mechanics and um, the flowers are also wired to the structure. So there's uh, a wire separating the flower and the structure here as well, uh, so that it's not all on the same binding point. So that's why it's also not a bouquet anymore because I added these things because I wanted to create a little bit more depth and that allows me to, you know, go uh, a little bit beyond the binding point. Yeah, Angelica. Yeah, Trisha one says, great, I joined a bit late. Sorry for making you repeat yourself. No, no, no. And I can't wait to see it on Patreon. Thank you. No, it's perfect that you, uh, and uh, anyone, please don't feel uh, afraid to ask anything. Uh, it's good that I repeat myself because yes, like you, like just like you, uh, there's quite a bunch of people that are joining in later. Uh, I've noticed that most of the people are actually joining us at the end of the live streams. So <laughs> yes, it's not bad to repeat myself. Angelica. Jade says, thank you at Jacqueline. ADFD was an amazing course. Thank Love you. it and can't wait for IMF. Um, and Mike, Holland will be a dream. You have the most gorgeous flowers. Thank you, yes, and I just destroyed one. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, we are very lucky with the flowers. This is actually on purpose because uh, I wanted this one to be smaller. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go inside there. And I'm looking at the growth direction. So now it's going to go a little bit over to that side. But I actually want it. Oh, yes, of course, you weren't stuck there. I'm sorry, yeah, you were just loose. Uh, so I wanted to have it more on that side. So I'm looking at the growth direction to um, have it on that side whilst binding it inside this uh, bouquet frame. Yes, like that. And then I'm going to go all the way around to grab the wire again. Uh, it's so sad that it broke, but that happens. So, and actually you should probably, you should normally, when you make this, just hold them in your hand and, you know, bind them at the end. But I'm a bit lazy. I want to be able to move around and make sure I don't forget anything. So. So this allows me a lot to just bind it in between. Uh, yes, and talking about not forgetting anything, I was earlier <laughs> working on this, right? So we should put those in. And we have to give them some water because that's what they like. So this tube here, put in some water. I actually uh, put this tube on a, on a little leg, little piece of wire, and this allows me to um, get away from the frame and that again gives me more areas to work with even though I'm not working with foam there's no foam at all in this design not that I'm against foam or anything but just that there are more options out there in the world that are fun to try out 
and experiment with. So, like that. And yes, Angelica. Taiwan is giving you a thumbs up. Hey, when you and the Taiwan team, thank you for joining us. How great. So this amazing Ansu Vanda, I want to give it a nice face. And mm -hmm, yes, kind of blocking, of course, this here. But you know, it's a 3D object. We're working with 3D space. So if I would change the angle a little bit, it would look again totally different. Yes, Angelica. Taiwan says very nice design. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm just looking at it from another angle. Yeah, then this one will come on the other side. And I'm sorry, I have to cut it a little bit shorter. Yes, sorry. So the heavy weight object, I will put a little bit lower in the design. but I do want it on the outside. Yes, so then the idea is, how will we make this stand over here without any sort of um, way to put it there? So I'll think of a solution, which is using the thick wire. Could you grab me some of the thick wire, anyone? Yes, Angelica, in the meantime, you can give me a question. Taiwan says, uh, such a special color for the Vanda. Yes, it's amazing. It has this purple and these beige tones. Very nice. It's really uh, a really cool color combination. So, actually there is another tube in there. You don't see this on the camera at all. Uh, but there's another tube in there in which I will put some grass later. All right, so, cool idea. I want to have something standing here. Let's see if we can make that work. So I'll take uh, some wires. Maybe it's not going to work at all and I'm just going to fill, but I think I have a feeling this will work. So like that. Yes. So we take the binding wire on the fly improv. Let's do it take the binding wire, go around. So this is how also you make those tubes. Very useful. Actually, not really those tubes, but you make those tubes on a little arm, which you can hang out from, uh, uh, from the arrangement. So and it's just wrapping like that. Dun, dun, dun. So. And then, like so. Give it a little double leg. I don't know, you can see me do this. You see only the part that's not black, right? So now when I add this, suddenly it looks like these double legs are coming out of nowhere. Wow, it's magic. So. And let's do actually the same thing on the other side. Boop, 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 boop. Wire, wire, wire. Wrapping, but I'm not a rapper. Yes, Angelica. Marion Harding says, love the sculptural feel and combination of colors and flowers. Also, you are very natural. You are, wait, sorry. Also, you are very natural doing demos. It's an art. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like uh, that, that it comes across in a good way. Thank you. All right, so there we go. Taking this little wire here. So now let's do the ultimate test. Is this gonna work or is it just a crazy idea? So let's put the leg on here hmm, or the small leg on there. What's better? This is going to be more stable or this is going to be more stable. Probably that is more stable. 
and yes, Angelica. Well, Charmini says, crazy, so. I am at a very early stage of my floral journey. Yeah, yeah. Just go through, uh, just gone through a career change and fallen in love with flowers. Ah, cool. Would love to know more about your school. Nice. Well, thank you very much. So we are a school in Aalsmeer, Holland, in the Netherlands, basically. And um, yeah, we have all these live streams here um, every other week. So if you want to have a look, you can do so, of course, you're welcome to join. And if you are looking for education on a, a, a vocational level, uh, we have those trainings here. So we train people to become able to work in a flower shop. So we have a level one course, which is a 25 day course uh, that uh, teaches you everything you need to know to be able to work in a flower shop. So it's doing, for example, um, uh, hand tied bouquets, which is of course the bread and butter of every florist. It's doing um, bridal work, uh, it's doing um, funeral arrangements, all of that good stuff uh, that a florist needs to be able to make. Uh, so that's what you learn basically at the level one. And then we have a level two course, which teaches you more about creativity. Um, and then uh, there's a level three course, which is the international master florist education which is a training that we do uh, together with uh, Gregor Lersch. And um, yeah, you know, uh, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, but we also have all sorts of short courses. So if you just want to study hand tied bouquets if, as a test, you know, maybe you don't want to dedicate 25 days of your life to a school uh, with people and teachers that you don't know, then just joining us for the uh, hand tied bouquet course is a good idea because then you can get a feel about what we are like, uh, how we are teaching and all that sort of th stuff. So yeah, that's basically uh, our, our uh, education system here. Angelica. Trisha Wan says, I see you are doing the dog bite clamping technique. Very smart. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a combination. And now I'm actually uh, gonna add some other thing which is adding some legs to the hydrangea. And I'm just wanna, I just wanna see if this is possible because I have another idea that I will show you of adding something to the frame. So, yeah, this is actually pretty, st yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's pretty stable. All right. So yeah, I gave it two extra legs and then we did the dog clamping technique. So the, I think I heard Gregor say it so fast, so often, so maybe I can say Kao Hao Sai Fa, I think. Can, when you, did that sound uh, Taiwanese or uh, did that sound ridiculous? Let me know. Uh, Angelica. Charmini says, thanks for the summary, Mike. Uh, I'm very, very keen on the level one course and will look further into it. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do uh, to start out with. Yes, Mike, don't forget about this one sad little rose that we would put in over here. Mm -hmm. And then actually, now that I look at it, I feel like those Lysianthus are not so many together in a group. What's up? Trisha one says, Daka? Yes, <laughs> Daka. That apparently means it cannot be. <laughs> or something like that, or that's not possible. Which Gregor was also saying quite a bit during the course to our lovely Taiwanese friends. Mm -hmm. So, see, I need a little bit more volume. No, I'm sorry, I forgot you were not tied down yet, but I don't want to go too much in the middle middle, so. Something like that, I think, is better to have a bit more of a vocal. Yes, Angelica. Daniela van Overveld says, add in the earlier broken flowers somewhere. So are you going to add the broken flowers, like the little Oh, tiny yes, those little ones that, that, uh, that I'm taking off, you mean. Yeah, so I would use those flowers uh, maybe in another design, actually. It's kind of cheating answer. Uh, but I think they're a little bit too short uh, to go in here, but they are really great to use in uh, a, a small arrangement like a little Biedermeier 
or maybe some bridal work, though the bridal work I'm going to make has a totally different color scheme. So that's why uh, I, I'm not going to add it later. But normally, yes, I would definitely say you should uh, add your broken flowers, save them, and uh, make another, use them in other arrangements, because otherwise it's a pity to make them go to waste, especially from us Dutchies' perspective. You never want to waste anything, so there you have it. Angelica. Daniela says cheat. <laughs> and Taiwan says, sorry, I didn't get that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I once, I was working in a, in a snack bar and I had some really amazing um, uh, Chinese uh, bosses and they were trying to teach me some Chinese as well. Um, but anytime I try to pronounce it, it's just, not, it's just impossible. Japanese is a little bit easier for me because it's uh, less uh, phonetically difficult, right? It's just kaki ku kako sashisu, just very simple phonetic system. But with the uh, Chinese language, it's like you go, woo, woo, oh, woo, and then it's like, whoa, you're saying something different. So when I say kui, kui ma, I try to say like, is it possible? And then it's supposed to be like kui, but I, I don't know, my, my accent is not... Even ma, you can say wrong. Yeah, like I, exactly. Ma can, you, can be a horse. Ma can be what, as in a question. Yeah. Or a horse. Yeah. So I would try to say kauhau saifa. Kauhau saifa? I don't know. Maybe uh, when you, if you ask uh, Ian, then uh, he knows what I'm, <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't, and then, then nothing made any sense when we were trying to uh, attempt uh, Chinese. It's also possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the cool thing. Now I have this uh, bromelia in there. I can actually just add some other flower to that bromelia and use it as a stem, as a base. So, and then actually, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to bind it at two points. Because gravity does not allow it otherwise. Angelica, oh. No. I was thinking, yeah, man, gravity sucks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, imagine creating an arrangement in zero gravity. That would be pretty cool. Pretty messy. Yes, pretty messy probably also, yeah. Yeah, but now this adds some weight to that, so that makes it a little bit less good. Anyway. So, mm -hmm. there we go, Angelica, what's up? Trisha Wan says, my husband's family speaks Cantonese, ah. see, uh, which has nine sounds, so hard, and oh uh, so hard to get any words correct. Yes, I can Im totally imagine. I'm not, uh, yes, just the one banana thingy, which I was about to forget. What uh, is it? Yeah, it is of the banana plant, if I'm not mistaken. So. And now I added these two legs, and now you can basically put it anywhere you want. So, uh, and I wanted to put it there. So, and then we create some depth again. And then if I would turn the design around like that or like that, you know, it's still interesting. And uh, yeah, you can place anything here like that. So if I would have some lycospermum, maybe some uh, pink cushions. I did that with my Christmas arrangement last year. I put them on the two legs and then you can put them on a plate and then they can just freestand anywhere. And you know, that can be cool. I don't know, I like that. So that's, um, that's this arrangement for now. I can uh, fiddle with it uh, all day. I probably should, but uh, you know, there's only so much time for one live stream and I still want to, yeah, you know, because there could be two more roses over there and then uh, we would have three, five, eight. Uh, in there a little bit more but <coughs> yes yeah yeah I digress um, that's that's that for now no no it's not no it's not no what you know why not because these amazing anterium I was talking about earlier still have to go in there yeah how can you yeah the grass is in there but you don't really see it very well um, yeah so actually I wanted to have this in here too very important yeah Angelica Taiwan says, amazing vertical design. Thank you very much. Appreciate the compliment. So, mm -hmm. yeah, because look at what kind of depth 
depth, which is difficult for us, us Dutchies, depth that uh, creates. Jakey's, our dog is letting out a big sigh. Dogs always have such a tough day. Eh? Mm -hmm. They have to be cuddled all day and just chilling, eating food. Angelica, oh, yeah, this is gonna go on the side. I'm only going to say the first part of the name because I'm going to butcher the second and third part. So, no uh, Zitzrom, but uh, something something, okay, says, sorry. Hi, it's Christina from Hungary. Oh, hi. I think a pet chameleon would look great in this design. Yes. Yes, that's an amazing idea. Thank you very much. We th I, as a kid, I always wanted to have a pet chameleon, actually. Unfortunately, uh, that was not to be. It's a little bit too uh, exotic a pet. But very cool idea indeed. So, yes, Angelica. Aurora Bright says, I wish I will be there someday. Lovely design. Thank you very much, Aurora. You're always welcome here to join us and hang out with us. So I'm using this hidden tube as a second binding point. We're using all the cheats. So there we go. And yeah, like that creates a lot of depth, yes, and then it's a little bit tough to see from my perspective, but actually do we need it is the question. Do we need yet another two-ism in the design? Like there, I think so. Yeah, I think that's actually good. Sometimes I do something that Gregor calls two-isms, that we're doing almost two of everything. We shouldn't be doing that because then it's uh, getting too much repetition. Uh, yeah, I need a lot more hands. I need more hands for this. The nonsense. Nonsense comment. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm sure there is, there is a one-handed florist out there that is absolutely killing it. So, mm -hmm. the camera's just exactly in the way of uh, what I would like to see. Yeah, actually, yes, thank you. It needs to be a little bit tighter. So, and also, by the way, while you are all hanging out with us, I'm sorry, I'm going to hide my face a bit, but while you're all here, could you let us know what you would like to see us make in the future? We, we tried to do a poll uh, a while back, but no one really responded uh, on our uh, community post, so I thought, why not just ask you now? So let us know what you would like to see us make in the future. Then on our Patreon, we will put a poll, and then people can vote for it, and then, you know, gives us some nice ideas to create. Of course, floristry is an endless uh, sea of possibility in, the, in terms of what can you create, but maybe there's something that you would really love to see. And then, you know, we can create it for you and you can see how it can be made by other people. So yeah, let us know. So the, the Kauhau Taifa. Angelica is physically cringing over there. <laughs> okay, this is not necessary anymore. So that's that. Okay, now I did put everything in there, I think, that I wanted to put in there. Yes, Angelica. Charmini says, hand tied with orchids. Hmm. That's a good idea. What kind of orchids? Phalaenopsis, Cymbidium, Vanda. Uh, we, can, we can basically get any one of them. Dendrobium could also be cool. So what's resting us to do here is put some water in there, of course, and then, uh, then it's totally done. So uh, arrangement number one, donezo. Of course, these need to get out before I'm going to move them. Charmini says Vanda orchids, please. Yes, cool. I can 
100% do so. Yep. So let's see how easy this arrangement is to move. Well, that's doable. So, and then I'll just out of frame, I'm sorry, I'll just keep talking with you so that you know that I, I didn't leave you. Out of frame, I'm just putting back the flowers in there. And then I'm, as you can hear, grabbing other things, namely uh, the bouquet that we're going to do, the bridal bouquet. It's uh, made with uh, Lennerwolle. Uh, it's a, a family business in uh, Austria, amazing people. Uh, Felicitas Lehner, if you're watching this, you have some lovely new colors and products again. Um, and uh, I would make my brother very happy if I say that we do sell uh, all sorts of uh, wool products and anything else on our flower, uh, floral design uh, supplies web shop, so floraldesignsupplies.nl. So if you're uh, situated in Europe or most best for the shipping cost in the, in the Netherlands, then uh, we sell a lot of uh, uh, floral, design, floral design materials uh, for a really good price. Axel is always scouting the, or scouring the internet to see if we can have better prices. So we are very competitively priced. Uh, the, floral f the biodegradable floral foam that we sell is actually often cheaper than what other people sell their normal foam for. Uh, so yes, uh, do check that out, floraldesignsupplies.nl. Uh, what I have here is uh, some of the felt from Leonard Wolle, which I cut into squares, and some of the actual wool wool that is uh, from uh, Leonard Wolle. And it's a 100% natural product. And um, since it's actual wool, uh, when you light it on fire, it doesn't explode into flames. It is just smoldering away. So it's actually good for fire safety. And this is on a big uh, spider web technique, which we teach during uh, the advanced course, but also, uh, you know, the thing technique we use a lot during the master and um, actually uh, also for the Patreon, for the patrons, I filmed myself creating this structure uh, so you can see the whole, all of the steps of me creating that. Angelica. Trisha Wan says, I'd love to see a displacement. Yes, displacement. That's a great idea. I love to do a displacement. That's a good one. Yes, um, so the wires are going up a little bit more here, if you can see that. So then we have a nice little cozy spot in the middle in which we will put the flowers in. And I already cut some flowers and normally I would say uh, hydrate them, spray a little bit of uh, uh, finishing touch from Oasis on there and uh, put the glue already on the wounds, uh, but yeah. Uh, we're doing it live, so I didn't do that so much. I just cut them off. Then I have some old plants, uh, which were <laughs> terribly abused <laughs> and used for class. So, but some of the leaves are still very nice of the begonia, the begonia leaves, and they're super nice in this uh, uh, color combination uh, that I'm going to do. Yeah, Angelica. I can't seem to keep them alive. Uh, you know, but these were cut and everything, so they, they, they get like shock. But also, like, I give them too much water or not enough. Uh, they're, they're always sad. They don't really need so much water, I think, actually. Um, yeah, now I'm going out of frame. Sorry, hi. There I am again. And yeah, these roses are a little bit older, uh, but these uh, uh, are like the tiara from Decofresh, but smaller. And Decofresh has these amazing rose varieties uh, and these amazing colors that I definitely can recommend. Angelica. We have Lisa Florista in the chat. Hey, scene. Lisa. Thank Hi. you for joining us. Hi, awesome. friends from snowy Colorado. Hey, super happy that you're here. Hope you are doing all right. You know, that you are in this best possible shape as you can be at the moment and so here i am putting some floral glue on there quite a bit and it's gonna dry a little bit while i'm working not completely dry but just dry enough that when i stick it on there 
it more or less stays in place. So little, well, it's going to be a mess. Anyway, I'm sorry. So I'm here as well. What's up, Angelica? You're oh, it sounded like you were like, hmm, you're making a mess. Oh, no, I'm also, yeah. <laughs> also that. Also that. <laughs> but there's a hair mess. in the way. So glue, glue, glue. So this whole thing is going to be glued, just so you know. There is, uh, and, and, you know, if you keep these well under a piece of uh, plastic sheet, uh, spray the sheet with water on the inside, you get nice humidit a nice level of humidity in there. You can keep it in the cooler for quite a bit. So that's good. And then some flower or botanical materials, um, like this uh, stuff from South Africa, uh, you know, I can just use hot glue and it, it doesn't care. Uh, it's very good, strong stuff. Then here are some dianthus. So we have a nice, um, is that 80s? Like 80s color palette of the soft purple and the soft, soft uh, green blue. The soft teal, I love that. It's a uh, soft pastel uh, color blocking, you probably mean. And it, it, it is, it was a, it is a very 80s, 80s thing. Yeah, yeah, right. Like the. They had these nice. Uh, and early 90s. Sports jackets and pants. Yeah, yes. Like a whole suit. Or was it actually secretly 90s? Like the, the house, the Gabber, uh, Gabber oh, tides. Maybe you're right, yeah. Yeah. But in any case, it, prob it originated in the 80s. So. And now I have two dianthus, but of course I would like to have three so that I can do the, do the thing. You know, the thing, the three, five, eight. And there is some nice brown color in that wool. So it's a teal-ish color, a blue-green with a, a little brown. And that makes it blend very well with all these other materials. Very lovely. So, um, yeah, so the bros from earlier, gonna put that in here. Nice and cozy. And the wool will help with having everything in place and keeping everything on the spot. So. Cozy, cozy. So it's a cozy bridal bouquet. Oh, you say it's dreamy even. That's nice. And that's wool stuff. I actually have some more over here. It's also perfect to hide any glue that might have slipped under my radar. So like that. Whoop, on the ground. I'm sorry. And Maybe just a, another little rose, a small one. Which is gonna come close to the other rose. Though actually it does kind of appear to be a symmetrical triangle now, but there's gonna be a lot more materials in there, which, oh no, <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? All this glue on your hands. Um, yeah, I was saying something. Yes. That Based adding more flowers in the end yes, will, will result in not a triangular. Yes, will result in more asymmetry. Let's see, can we do this to the dianthus? I never done it, but it will allow us to make it deeper into the arrangement. Actually, probably all the petals will fall off now. But now I put all the glue in there. So maybe that counteracts it. Let's have a look. No, we can totally get away with that. Wow. I'm like a little criminal here. It feels a bit criminal. Oh, no. <laughs> Mike, why are you gluing it beforehand and then you are doing all these things? Then you're cutting it off again. That's so dumb. Okay. Doesn't matter. This is all part of the plan. So that goes in there. So and this goes nice and deep into there. So as you can see it, like so. Yes, totally planned all of this to go like this beforehand. Angelica. 
Hi, welcome to the Burma live stream. This live stream, we're talking about um, cheats, tricks, and lies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. And then, oh yes, we have some Aringium, some blue Aringium, which I have over here. Which is a lovely way to... I'm, it's getting out of hand, Mike. It's getting out of hand. You're not going to use a ribbon scissors to cut flowers. That's just silly. Uh, yep. Yeah. So the Aringium from Margin Par. Great grower with a lot of passion for the profession. Always willing to support the florists and just has a great product. You're able to have great quality materials all year round. Yeah, Angelica. The Erinthium stays good for so long. Yeah, 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 exactly. And also without, you know, it doesn't need so much water. So in arrangements like these, it's just really good, good stuff. Yeah. Design Cross B says, yay, I made it. Hey, there you are. Thank you for joining us. Just making a, a bridal bouquet with bluish purple tones. Oh no. Nothing happened. Probably goes there. Actually, a lot, another small one. Yes, like that. A little bit of glue. So, and then these are a little bit closer together, like so. Mm -hmm. This goes away. So, and then we have some, yes, of these, are, or are they way too big in there? Too clunky. It could even be too clunky. They are too chunky. Too chunky for this. <laughs> then nice uh, uh, scabiosa stellata. The scabiosa balls. Nice and brown. So we bring the brown tones back in there. And we can also add these on the outside later. So Scabiosa stellata is just, you know, it dries up and it lasts for ages. So that's really good. A lot of people uh, paint them during Christmas time, use them in the Christmas arrangements. You can spray paint them gold or whatever. Yeah, let's just have one also more on the outside. Why not? And there you go. Not everything has to be exactly in the shape. Then some nice uh, chrysanthemum or mums, as some people cutely refer to them. Yeah, in England, I think they say mums. Me mums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chrysanthemum mums. And Lizzie's. I like that too. Lizzie's for Lizzieantis. You want to know what the best thing is that I learned? Mm, what's up? Susan was asking me, Susan McCleary was asking yeah. me for frogs. And I was like, frogs? Oh, yeah. What's what a frog? Are, what, what, what do you mean, frogs? But it's yeah. the Kenzon. Yeah, yeah, they call Kenzon frogs. I love frogs. that name for the Kenzon. Yeah, it's, frogs. it's very cute. It, I don't even know why, um, <laughs> why call it a frog? I don't know. It has nothing. It but I like it. <laughs> yeah, it, I, yeah, me too. Yeah, me too, but it, I don't know. It doesn't, I don't see it. Cow how the, the, the dog clamping technique I can see. But yeah, anyway, funny names for funny things. Chrysanthemum spreading that out over the design. 
and also of course can be on the on the structure some of them can be outside but I like to keep them a little bit close to the frame so that only the small small things are on the outside of the frame but of course otherwise there's no connection in between the frame and the and the rest so so yes lovely little um, Tilantia, I think Ionanta. Correct me if I'm wrong. Glue, lots of glue. Yeah, very cute. So, how is everyone doing so far in the chat? Everything okay? Any questions that we have, maybe? Please feel free to ask any of it. Don't be shy. That's what we're here for. Always happy to answer questions. Angelica. Taiwan says a very unique bridal bouquet. Thank you. <laughs> you know, the most popular bridal bouquet will always remain the probably always remain the Biedermeyer, though Boho is very popular right now, right? But the teardrop, yeah, those timeless classics, they will always be there. I'm not afraid that it goes away, mostly because the customers, they often don't really know what's all available. So it's nice for you to show them what is possible in the realm of bouquet making. Um, but yeah, timeless classics will always be there. So. There's always a good reason to practice your Biedermeier, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, it's so classical. Yeah, but, you know, people still buy them. People still want them. Angelica. Question from Jade. Can yeah. we see the handle, please? Yes. Uh, yes. You indeed can. <laughs> Is everything glued down enough, uh, do you think? I don't know. Some Ultimate things might test. fall out. Ooh, oh no, that's m my hand going on it. I thought that sounds like a, so it's a small handle, just like this. I didn't want to make, normally I would say do two hands in a little bit, but in this case I made a single-handed bouquet, not a dual wield, uh, because if you have a single-handed bouquet uh, for the wire, you know, I can go more wide because the wire is only a certain length. I didn't want to use the one meter one because then we're going all out. So that's why I kept the handle relatively short, but it's very convenient in any case. And actually, I have it very much in the center right now, but it could also have been a bit more off-center. That could also be cool. Angelica. Aurora Bright says, green colors, uh, color looks adorable on you. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's very kind of you. Um, Sin, could you maybe help me out with this? I would like to see more of this. I would like to use more of the uh, Scabiosa Stellata, if possible. Thank you. Then I have these lovely little um, Brunia. Oh, awesome. Thank you. That's very fast. Brunia, also a round shape, so that works with the other round shapes, you know. Every we're just repeating the shapes of the bouquet in the flowers and that makes it more cutesy also round shapes not so uh, not so strong so brunia and what's also nice about the brunia is that it is uh, a nice vibrant green color uh, but it also has brown in it so we're connecting the brown tones if i only put in the scabiosa um, stellata the other round shape then that's a little bit more of a dull uh, color. So I think this is a nice way to connect everything together. So, glue, glue, glue. So, like that. Angelica, you're going to look for something? Yeah. One moment, please. All right. So, 
Yes, and actually, I'm sure that this Brunia can handle some heat. So for placing this on the outside, where it doesn't have a lot of places to connect, I'll just put some hot glue on there. And in that way, it just sticks immediately because hot glue and the wool is a really good combination that really just uh, immediately sets. So that makes it a bit more quick. So, and like I said, the smallest of small things will come on that outside. Then could add some of a couple of these. These are Dianthus um, barbatus, a, or yeah, they are the smaller uh, Dianthus. Just a couple of them for the color. So since I'm gonna put the glue in there, it will stay. Make it open a bit. Angelica, what were you looking for? Oh yeah, the handle, yeah, that's actually a very good idea. So smart. Okay, yes, yeah, getting real sticky, sticky situation. How about that? So, we put it on the handle, yes, Angelica. Does this help or does it not help? <laughs> What's up? Uh, first, Anchal Rana says yeah. incredible artwork. Thank you very much. And uh, Jackie Burma says very good question at Lisa Florista. Yes, yeah. we have a very nice trip coming up in July. What was the question from Lisa? I think um, that you guys are, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Did you oh, miss we, oh, wait, here, I missed it. Um, okay. Lisa says, any exciting trips or, or flower events coming up for you guys? Ah, good question. Yes. Um, yeah, so we will be going to uh, uh, the symposium, AIFD symposium in July, on where we will do a presentation. And then um, we will go to, I think, the teacher training, the teacher seminar uh, with Gregor Lers in um, February. And... Uh, other things we have planned, we are discussing some dates here and there. Um, but definitely on the list is uh, Philadelphia Flower Show, which is happening in March. Uh, so I'll be going there to help out with Bill Schaefer and the team again. And then there's quite a bit of things that are in the works, but I are still under wraps, so I can't really talk about them yet. But yeah, there's exciting stuff planned for 2023, for sure. Yeah, Angelica. Oh, sorry, oh, I thought you were... Uh, <laughs> uh, Lisa Florista has a question for me. Oh. Uh, what kind of bridal bouquet do you like, Angelica? Ah. I must be honest, I have no idea because every time I go somewhere and see a new beautiful flower, I want to put it in my bridal bouquet. <laughs> yeah. But all the flowers that I love, the, the bouquet is going to be horrendous. <laughs> so I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, every time she's like, oh, I want this in my bridal bouquet and that and that and that. So it's like adding layers upon layers of different flowers that don't necessarily interact very well together, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah, and then, then it's also a question of who's going to make the bridal <laughs> bouquet. That's also interesting. Angelica. Uh, question from Design Crosby. Do does the site sell that holder? Sell that, sorry? That holder, that bridal bouquet holder. Hmm. Do we sell it? We don't at the moment, no. actually. We should, but um, this, yeah, this is like an improv wrapped into each other thing. It's, uh, I think, a mic stand, microphone stand combined with another microphone handle. So 
We do not sell them, but you can definitely just get, uh, this is not good for, for Axel, I'm sorry, but uh, this, you can definitely get a microphone standard from a music uh, shop. So if you have that in the neighborhood, then you know, just get one of those and that would help you a lot. You can even have one that's high like this and then you can hold the bouquet. It's very useful actually. But I think expensive. Oh, well, my mother is running into the, the live stream room and she's, uh, she's saying it's the, the holder is actually <laughs> an Oasis product um, and uh, it was broken. So that's why we don't, uh, why we MacGyvered it together. But yeah, so uh, apparently Oasis sells those, but I don't think we have them on our web shop. And an alternative would actually be to get a, a microphone stand. Yeah, so and I, I'm sticking things through the berries, which are very difficult to see, um, but they are nice dark blue color. Uh, so they fit in with the Arrhenium and it's mixing nicely. So later when I take some proper photographs of this bridal bouquet, uh, then you can look at all the details. We'll do a little detail shot if we don't forget, right, Sin? Um, because I always forget that, but I'm just telling Sin so that she can help me remember. Um, then if we do that, uh, then that would be nice. And then you can see it when we edit the video, you can see it from close by. So and I'm sticking them through, but yeah, at the back there is some more felt, which is nicely keeping it in there. Angelica. Oh, no. <laughs> so the begonia leaves, they actually uh, dry up pretty well. Now this one seems like it's someone ate, took a bite out of it. So I'm putting in some, uh, putting them in and I'm putting some glue on the wound, on the cut wound, so that when it's in there, it will not uh, evaporate too fast. And I'm putting it a little bit like so over some flowers, but with some depth to it. There was not a question, right, Angelica? No, I had to sneeze, but then you interrupted my sneeze. And now you couldn't sneeze, no, I'm sorry. No, it feels awful. <laughs> I apologize. So this amazing begonia leaf, putting that in there. A little bit elevated. Hmm. What angle does this need? A little bit like that. Yes, that's good. So some more begonia leaves. Let's turn this puppy around some more glue again on the wounds to shut off the evaporation process so and maybe a eeny beeny small one more on the middle not on the middle middle but a bit off center so like that in between some of the anthus leaves yeah, that's nice, nice, nice. And so just one more, then that's the last begonia leaf. Then we put in something that I think is a type of tilantia. Well, yes, it's definitely a type of tilantia. Oh, I always imagine that I'm gonna put in so much. I have these cute little succulents which I am going to put in there. No, I have them. I will put them in. You it's need cute. to put those in. Yeah, it's super cute and it's fitting so nicely with the little, uh, well, no, not with the little, but with the color. Hey. Yes. So with the color of the wool. So very detailed little work here. 
but that's nice, right? When the bride is walking around with her bridal bouquet and then she's looking at the bridal bouquet and every time she's discovering some new little small detail so that she's having a good time just peeking at this bouquet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can it be? It can probably be. So this hot glue is hot glue but it's not high melt, it's low melt, which allows us to not burn ourselves to death, but also um, it makes it so that uh, the flowers are, not al are also not immediately burned to death. So I'll just take a little square from here. But it's still hot. Yeah, it's still hot. You know, I grabbed, I put it the wrong way around earlier today. And then I grabbed it, and then it's in the middle of my hand, a little burn mark. But it's not a third degree burn as with the high melt, because, yeah, you know, you definitely do not want to touch those. I mean, I could just go like that, and it's not too much of an issue, actually, which is nice. Especially for someone as uh, clumsy as me, it's very useful little safety measure yeah so yes 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 do I need some else this is also very lovely this is a type of uh, conifer I'm not too familiar with how it holds uh, in the realm of hot glue so I'm just gonna Ooh, smells nice just gonna cold glue it in there and a little bit from the sides if possible like that and then it's nice texture little textural thing so lots and lots of details here but yeah so and we actually recently had a nice uh, bridal bouquet course level one then we're teaching people how to make a standard hand tied bouquet but also things like um, uh, like uh, on, a, on a heart shape or um, in a foam and the corsages, all sorts of corsages that are fitting with different types of bridal bouquets. So that's really something important. Matching everything together. So. Right, how are we time wise? Am I uh, taking. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm really enjoying. <laughs> So I'm just uh, doing some final touches. For this bouquet. So that I'm not taking your entire day. But I do appreciate some more depth in this. By adding this uh, limonium. And this limonium sticks out a little bit and that creates some airiness to the bouquet so it's not just only closed textures but we're actually having some open textures which create a nice layered effect which is also a little bit what the berries are doing but the berries are round and shiny and this is a more uh, of a dull texture so that helps in another way And the nice thing about this limonium is it's also a little bit brownish already because it's drying up. So that's mixing nicely with the other colors. Let's 
So just the final details here. There we go. Yeah, Angelica. Lisa Florista says, looks cool, Mike. Thanks for sharing. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like it. So then this uh, Tilantia can definitely take some heat. So I'm just gonna, I'm sorry, Mr. Tilantia or Mrs. Tilantia. I'm gonna add you in here and put you over so that we create yet another uh, form of layering and create yet another form of depth. Let's see, it's difficult for me to see and for you to see at the same time. I think if it's like that, then that's cool. Yes, Angelica. Oh no, you're just appreciating. Sorry, I sometimes make noises. Yeah, it's okay. I forgive you. So, of course, normally you put glue in there. So take some more botanical materials and add them to the structure on the outside. But since this is gray, um, it's not distracting too much. So and I'll just add one more of them. Where did I put them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you very much. I even had clematis and everything else to add, but uh, that's going to be too crazy. So, actually I'll just take it out of the handle because I can't see it so well myself. So, probably like that. And then... <laughs> we had a whole lovely box full of this. Let's see. Like that, and it's kind of repeating the pattern in a symmetrical way, but that's not really a big issue. So I think that's nice. Then from there. And Now Jake is making all sorts of interesting noises. Jake got some new um, like tennis balls from oh, yeah. Axel today. Yeah. So he's very, very happy. Nice. He's a happy boy. So there is, uh, there is that. And just uh, to make a more connection of the... Mm -hmm. Design Frost B says, never too crazy for Clematis, please add. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all right, actually. You should just keep on adding and adding and adding. Actually, no, I don't like this on there. Uh, it's not a great color. Okay, maybe, especially for you, I will add some Clematis. Actually, I don't like this at all. No, we're not going to add it. Okay, well, that's not what we're going to add, at least. So we did decide that. It became a totally different bouquet. And that's mostly because of these amazing little uh, Tillantias, which I think are playing the part of what I originally intended those, um, those uh, wool wires to do. So, you know, and I don't want to, them to compete together, but maybe what we are allowing ourselves to compete is this Clematis because never too crazy for clematis. <laughs> oh, this one is damaged. Yeah, you can take that away. Thank you. Uh, 
I apologize if I reconsider. But let's have a look. If I am adding it or not. They are a bit big, yeah. But it doesn't look bad, does it? You can see. Looks nice, actually, to have a bigger shape in there. A lot of them are a bit battle damaged. So, like that. But then when we have these little eye catchers in there, we cannot just keep one. So we'll have to add another one. So this makes the people from Margin Far also happy, as well as it makes you happy. This pedal is broken, but why not keep it in there? What's up, Angelica? Design Pros B says, please, yes, gorgeous purples. <laughs> I'm happy you're liking that. And Lisa Florissa says, yes, keep it, so cute. <laughs> nice. So. And just because I don't want one of them to be too lonely, I'll add another one on that side. So, okay, so let's get rid of this mess on the, t well, you're not mess, I'm sorry. You're nice materials, but you need to get out of the way. So, Sim, could you please take care of that for me? Thank you. Yes, so because I want to have some clean table to show you this bouquet. There we are. Boop, boop, boop. On the side with you. Okay. Yeah, so there you have the bouquet with all the materials in there. And let's see, can I bring it a little bit closer to you so that you at home can actually see it very well? How about that? Can we see it? Nicely, I think. So, hope you can see it at home very well. All the little textures and flowers. And it's layers upon layers upon layers. Let's go a little closer. We go very close. <laughs> Too close the scorching heat of the RGB LEDs. So, yeah, so that's that. That was my second bouquet and now we're going on to the third. No, I'm just kidding. That's it. <laughs> you no, had no, me no. there for a moment. We don't, have, uh, we don't have more time, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked watching me improvise some things and uh, doing some of the planned things so i uh, thank you very much for joining us again um, again thank you for subscribing and uh, being part of our patreon and all that sort of stuff thank you very much we really appreciate it we have 5,000 subscribers now it's really special it's in two years i think we're doing this for two years now so thank you very much um, and yeah if you have not if you're not a subscriber yet to our channel please uh, hit the subscribe button. It's down below somewhere. It's completely free. 
And if you hit also the little bell button, you know, I have to do all these YouTube things. If you hit the bell button, then you get notifications on when we are having a new released video, but also when we're going live again. And then uh, if you like the button, then YouTube knows that uh, you enjoyed this video and then it would maybe recommend it to other people. So please hit that like button um, and feel free to share this video also. And thank you very much. Angelica, you had something? Yes, Design Crosby says amazing, magnificent work. Thank you very much. Char Mini says thank you. It was my, f uh, it was, uh, my first time joining you and I'll you. definitely be back. I hope to do a course at the school as well. Thank you, you're very welcome to do so. Thank you very much. Uh, next time, uh, do we know who is this next time? Next time, yes, next time is the live stream finale of the season because in two weeks we'll have the last one before the winter break and then we won't have any streams until January somewhere. Uh, and you can actually see the on our YouTube channel, you can see the banner and then it says whenever the uh, next one is gonna be. But anyway, two weeks. Uh, my mother and I will be doing the stream and I think maybe Irma or maybe someone else. Mm, we'll see. So, Angelica. Daniela van Overveld says Bob Ross vibes nice. Uh, whoops, Thank you. caps lock was on. <laughs> no worries. And, um, uh, oh, um, oh, I forgot. Um, 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 um. Yes, Christina. Christina, sorry, yes, yeah. Christina says superb works. Um, it would be nice Thank if you, you could do a plant design and ah. explain what to do and what to not do. Cool, that's a really good one. Plant design is actually something I really like to do. I don't do it very often, uh, but it's really fun. And actually, yes, uh, it will be part of the part two of the International Master Florist Education. So um, I think it's actually uh, day one of part two. So as soon as you get back, then plant design will be the first day. So that's also exciting, but for sure, I will put it on the list. I will make note of everything that people suggested. So if you have any suggestions, please feel free to still shout them out right now. After the live stream, we will collect all the subjects and then we will put it to vote in our Patreon. Angelica, that was it, right? All right, so thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. We'll do a little walk around, wave. So ciao, thank you. That's Angelica. Thank you very much, Angelica. That's Sin Sin. Thank you for helping behind the screen, behind the scenes. Yes, thank you for watching, my mother says, who is rushing into the room just to say hi. Yes, thank you very much, everyone. All right, so, yes, again, if you have any suggestions, throw them in the comments. And thank you very much. See you. Bye-bye.